Josh Hader is a Padre. Yeah, like, I, 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 I don't know what to think of right now. I, actually, I, I, sh I shouldn't say that. I, I want to say it's a blockbuster because it is, but also it's not really that surprising to me. I'm going to tell you why. The reason being because you have these smaller market teams like Milwaukee, like Oakland, you know, the Moneyball, and then you have Tampa Bay, who like some of the kings at doing this kind of thing when it comes to roster building and team building. They develop their stars and then when they hit peak value or when it's time to pay them they trade them you have teams like cleveland training for cisco lindor so it's not super out of the realm of possibility that you see things like this happen josh Hader gets sent to san diego in exchange for former all-star closer taylor rogers Nelson lament and a couple of prospects so on san diego side san diego gets better Absolutely. In my opinion, he like this is an absolute win move for San Diego. Now they did have their own all-star closer in Taylor Rogers, absolutely. He's not a bad pitcher by any means. He's dude is right behind Josh Hader when it comes to the, the saves leader this year. It's 28 saves. He has a ERA a little over four, so that's kind of kind of alarming. He's everything that you want to look for in a closer. So San Diego had a good closer, and Milwaukee is gonna get a good closer heading back. Good thing for San Diego, they didn't trade any of their top five prospects, which was for Josh Hader, absolutely insane. San Diego's been playing good this year. Manny Machado's been having a great season, and he's been holding it down with Fernando Tatis Jr. being out. And these guys are well in the playoff race. For the division, not really. They have one pretty bad stretch of games, and now the Dodgers had a really good stretch of games, and now it's a 12-game lead for the division in the uh, NL West. They have a wild card spot, so they're looking to reinforce their playoff chances this year and josh Hader is he's an upgrade for sure now with regards to the brewers the brewers they're first in their division in the nl central they they've been playing pretty good baseball for sure someone i feel a lot of people will kind of overlook in this trade is the acquisition of denelson lament that guy throws absolute gas and he has a sick changeup. one thing that i give milwaukee credit for they know how to develop pitching the three-headed monster and freddie peralta corbin burns and woodruff and then they had some nasty back-end bullpen stuff with Devin Williams. So I'm assuming Devin Williams is going to be the new closer for them now. Look, their, their bullpen was filthy. It's obviously the downgrade, losing one of the best in the game. But you have somebody right there who's pretty much ready to take take the mantle of the new closer now. So Devin Williams, this is a win for him. But Denelson Lament, I feel, will absolutely flourish in Milwaukee. If they can figure him out, I know he was riddled with injuries and stuff like that this is the person who's probably going to benefit the most from this at least at least to me i feel obviously the padres get the guy they want in milwaukee it's a downgrade but also they get a couple of prospects in return they're not gonna miss josh Hader as much especially when they have a, a more than capable replacement in Devin williams it, it just sucks as a fan to see stuff like this happen but milwaukee still is competitive so milwaukee knows what they're doing interesting to see if Hater sticks around in San Diego as well because they have him for the rest of this season and then they have him for another year of team control and then he hits restricted free agent unrestricted free agency in I believe uh 2024. First takeaway from this trade is that San Diego is serious. They're really serious about being competitive in this division, especially when you have a decade plus of Fernando Tatis Jr. So maybe maybe this is the first domino to fall for San Diego. It's, it's interesting to see, but I, I'm I'm happy that these guys are actually going for it, and they get an absolutely elite closer. Josh Hader's a Padre. That's that's nuts.